everybody. Just want to stop by to share with you some really exciting news about our ICI, International Society for Environmentally Acquired Illness, upcoming conference in May. And one of the reasons I'm here to share is because this is literally being held in my backyard. Not quite, but it's just down the road about 10 minutes from where I live um, in Louisville, Colorado. And super excited to have Dr. Kelly McCann here today. She has been the committee head for all of the speakers and the conference and all of the many, many, many details that have had to take place in the planning. And first of all, Dr. McCann, thank you for your hard, hard work, all that you've done to put in to make this conference a success. Super excited to hear about what we have for speakers. Thank you for having me, Jill. It's so nice to spend a little time with you and share our excitement and enthusiasm for this conference. We have a great lineup of people coming. It will be so much fun to get back and see our colleagues in person, get to really mingle and learn. There's just nothing like an in-person conference. Some of the folks that we have on board to talk on Thursday, we're actually doing a basic course. So for people who who don't know a lot about mold or lime or environmental chemicals or want a refresher, I think the Thursday course will be phenomenal. Several of the board members will be speaking, folks, including a woman named Lara Adler, and we'll also include indoor environmental professionals as well. So we'll get the whole package from mold from the doctor's perspective and the indoor environmental professional's perspective. The Thursday conference will be phenomenal. And then to the main event, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, that will include talks about mold from some of our own board members like Mark Sue and Lauren Tessier, and then more IEP. So for the folks who really want to understand what to do about my house, what to do about mold inspection, we've got some great people lined up to help explain all of that to us. And then Tom Warcroft will be speaking as well as Darren Ingalls about Lyme and co-infections. And then our lovely Lynn Patrick will be joining us to tell us more about environmental toxicants. And she's just such a fabulous teacher. So that'll be Friday. And then Saturday, we are going to talk more about interfaces and systems. So the way that we've structured the conference this year is we're trying to help all the participants understand a framework so that they can really think about these complex chronic patients. Um, so Friday is our environmental exposure day, the exposome day, and then Saturday is how it's impacting us. And so actually, Jill, you start off the prong conference on Saturday morning, um, talking about the interfaces, the GI system, the lungs, and then we have Anne-Marie Fine, who's an excellent environmental medicine doc, talk about the dermatologic systems and how all of these things can impact our skin. We have a dentist, Dr. Ali Reza Panapur, come and teach us all about the teeth. And uh, Dr. Afrin, Lawrence Afrin will be speaking with us on mast cell activation. And then one of his colleagues, who's a um, pediatric cardiologist, will be talking about dysautonomia. That's Andrew Maxwell. I'm really excited to have both of those folks speak. Ann Corson will be joining us to talk about uh, hypercoagulation, which is so important both for chronic infections and of course in, in COVID. Um, so that'll be a wonderful addition. And then the, the afternoon ends with uh, our own Werner Vosloo talking about the impacts of environmental toxicants on epigenetics. And then Sunday, we're going to put it all together and very, very excited about this. So some of the things that we're seeing in many of these complex chronic patients are how patients with genetic conditions such as Ehlers-Danlos syndrome have a higher predisposition for manifesting with all of these issues. And so we have specialists talking about EDS, including Dr. Bolognese, who is the top yes. neurosurgeon in the country who does many of these complex cases for cranial cervical instability and tethered cord. We are honored to have him join us. And then to round out the day, Joe Smith talking about uh, functional neurology from a chiropractic perspective, Chad Prusmak talking about TBI and concussions, and then Dr. Sam Yannick ending up the day uh, teaching us more about the immune system. So phenomenal group of folks. We're so excited to have all of these amazing speakers.
Wow. Dr. McCann, I just, I heard this, like this whirlwind of amazing. And what's so practical about what you just described of who's coming, what we're seeing now is more complexity, more environmental toxicity, and more interface between infections and toxins and MCAS, hypercoagulability. Me as a clinician, these are going to be super practical. I have kind of stopped going to the basic conferences. We just don't have time. There's a lot going on in our world, but I feel like this event, if there's one that you're going to be at and one that you don't want to miss it's this event. <laughs> and like I said, I'm so fortunate because it's right close by, but Colorado in May is gorgeous. There's hiking trails all nearby, gorgeous scenery. It's usually very beautiful weather. I hope that you choose to come in person and enjoy my beautiful state of Colorado. And like I said, Dr. McCann, I don't even know what to say as far as uh, kudos to you for putting together such a great group of educational providers. This is going to be a really, you don't want to miss it conference. I agree. Yes. I'm a little biased, but I totally yeah. agree. I'm I mean, truly, really, you put together an amazing, and then not only that, but the, the IEPs, the environmental professionals, that's one of those things that you and I as clinicians, we don't have the ability to go into the home and to be the remediator, but we need to know from our remediators and how to collaborate with them in order to get our patients well. So great job. So excited about this. Like I said, I'm excited to share and get people signed up to come and to come see our wonderful state of Colorado. Let's just talk real briefly about the details, time, place, location, um, maybe cost or best way to sign up. People can sign up on the ICI website. So that's ISEAI.org. If people are members, um, they should have already received information uh, via their emails. And if there are people out there who are interested and want to become members, they have that option as well. Awesome. Well, I am looking forward to being there, looking forward to hanging out with you and all the other ICI board members. And uh, thank you for taking time today for just explaining what our speaker lineup and um, looking forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much, Jill. Can't wait to see you in person too.